What's going on everyone? Brand new channel and I figured I'd start with one of my favorite games that I just finished not too long ago. It's Pathfinder Kingmaker. I played D&D &D a lot of my life and Pathfinder is what I stuck with, then going to 5th and all that. So I figured I would give you guys a playthrough and see if you guys like the game and hopefully you do because I think it's a blast. So it's going to be a long journey but it's going to be a fun one. So let's start with a new game. Uh, we'll start right away into it. I'm just going to do normal mode for you guys, and if you guys like it, maybe we can go to unfair, which is ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. Alright, normal mode. Always create a new character. Don't do no uh, pre-made ones. If you see my camera freeze in funny faces, it's because my laptop is trash. Uh, so don't make fun of my goofy faces as I, uh, as I freeze. Alright, I'm going to go with a ranger this time around, so this is the only bow picture that I have, so I will use him. Although he's an elf, I'm going to go with um, Asimar, or Asimar, however you want to say it. Let's go with, uh, I want to be like the legless, like the gangly, uh, can't even tell what the face is. I'm on low graphics, just because, again, my laptop's a little weak. And uh, so, so keep that in mind when you see things because it really is a beautiful game. It really is. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. That looks ridiculous, which is perfect. All right, like I said, I'm going with Ranger. If you've never played Pathfinder, this game is very extensive. It's very uh, large. There's a lot you can do with it, so you'd have to study up. But if you have played, then you know exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go with Ranger as my class. I'm just going to go with regular basic ranger. Let's see if we can change some colors here. Blue is one of my favorite colors, and then we'll just go with like a light. Alright, I'm going to go with Plume Kith. The reason being, if you look here, it gives you plus two to dex and wisdom. Also, plus two to racial bonus on uh, mobility and athletic checks, and you can cast invisibility once a day, which is pretty good. But the dex for archers is number one thing to do and yes I'm going ranger archer wisdom you need only a 14 in to uh, get your fourth level spells being cast intelligence I kind of want con I don't really need strength you definitely want when you use a composite longbow or a composite any bow you add your strength modifier to damage which is really good you want to do that let's uh, put the last one in intelligence in this game, as a main character, you definitely want persuasion because you're going to do a lot of checks throughout, just solo checks that you have to do to convince people to do stuff. So persuasion, you always have to have, and perception is the second most important. Perception is important on every character. So now I would say um, knowledges are pretty good. I'm going to go knowledge or lore nature just because it's used quite a bit in the beginning with camp killing things point blank shot easy choice if you don't know what that does it gives you a plus one to attack and damage within 30 feet it's also the prerequisite for precise shot which um, excludes the negative four penalty that you gain when shooting into comp when shooting into melee so uh, for those who don't play pathfinder think of it as uh, your homeboy is fighting somebody and you want to shoot the other guy with a gun but they're like brawling so it's really hard to shoot the other guy because they're in fist you know they're fighting man on man so you'd get a minus four penalty but with precise shot you're really good at shooting and you'll kill the person so there you go that's the modern way to say it alright I'm gonna go favorite enemy humans just because I played this and there are a lot of humans in the beginning what that does is gives you a plus two to hit and damage against them and later on as you go you can stack that up and get up to even a plus eight if you really wanted to alright um... I have, no use for this. I have no use for this I'm gonna do a lawful good in this run which is dumb but I'm gonna do it anyways and that sounds like a, a lawful guy uh, I don't really have a name. I'm going to go with Jasper Silverbow. It's the first thing that popped in my head because that was the original um, 
character that I made way long ago, so we're just gonna try that one out. The birthday doesn't matter, so just do whatever. I actually, there, there's my birthday, February 21st. We do it my way. We do it my way. So there's our character, easy, simple. Uh, I made it really fast for you guys, so there's all our stats and everything. All the good stuff. So let's complete it and let's actually get into this game. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. But she read that. That commensurately word sounded pretty tough. I'm going to let them speak their mind so you can hear the story. Already some drama with the heroes. You gotta love it. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restal. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. It's true. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I'd seen true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restall means. That's a political statement. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the stolen lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Boom. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? So there's a... well, let's play it out. There's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Baron's title. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help. Mm -hmm. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of giving rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <clears throat> if Is I that please Eeyore? answer the question... We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Us. Uh, why not just recognize the Stag Lord as Baron, they say, because he's a, a thug and they'd rather work with somebody that can actually work with them. Uh, you're helping us find a Baron, and e, what do you get from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, but well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's mm. stability. 
We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with. Not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? Where'd she come from? Alright, what, what rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own land? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. So a big part of this game is building a kingdom, which is words, that's words, what works words. for. Significant financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rustov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. <laughs> All right, clear Excellent. as day. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. Yeah, I don't want to listen to the political bullcrap. So, um, if you want me to Hi, skip all that next time, just let me know. We sure will. Just wait. We've got plenty of feats in store. I have no doubt. Kind of related, I wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Barons wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This, this is the person I'll write my book about. Wait, a book? Damn, that was good I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later. Heroes' biographies on the is? Best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? True. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or God's forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Ah, uh, not a bad plan, it's settled then. I'll accomplish the feats and you write them down. Deal. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Perfect. So the reason I played all that out is for you kind of to get a backstory of what's going on. Again, I apologize if my screen freezes. Alright, so we're going to exit out through here. It auto-saves every time you go in and out of a place. Help! Help! What's going on? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some felons broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or... We'll all be cut down one by one. Alright. Hm. Oh good, they started with the equipment. Sometimes they don't do that. Alright, combat. Turn by turn basis. Um, as you see here, I have a bow. I have melee weapons as well. So I'm just going to use the bow even though you shouldn't shoot in a melee. They get an attack of opportunity, but it's just the beginning. So you can see the timer of when I go and when he goes. So he missed the attack of opportunity. I killed him. If you look here, uh, here we go. So you can go over here on the side and it shows the modifiers what you rolled. So I rolled an 18 to hit him. Wow. 
He only has an armor class 9, or 7, sorry. And then I deal 11 damage, which is max. So Then you just walk over him and you take all their stuff. Which is always nice. Trophies, blah blah blah. Lindsay wants me to go that way, but... There's a dead person in here. <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't laugh at that, I guess. Another longbow that... I'm looking for a composite longbow is what I'm looking for. Another dead person. So if you notice, uh, these things are lighting up. It's because I'm holding down the tab key. So if you ever need to see everything. I kind of do it all the time. If you see these names pop up, it's because I'm doing the tab key. It's just a habit you get into. Making sure you don't miss anything. Sure. Let's have Lindsay tank. Boom, Jasper's on fire. They did one to each other. And I crit. Would have been terrible. So you see the explosion of blood all over the floor, that's because I crit on him, which was really nice. Uh, he did give us an item, so if you hit I, it goes into inventory. And here's the magical item. It gives you a plus one, it's basically a ring of protection plus one, so our AC is up to 20 now. Uh, chain shirt is better than what I have, I think, hold on. Not really, let's see what you got. Raise our AC by two, but what's the armor, or what's the, it's a 20 arcane spell failure, and that's only 10, so we'll just keep that, Hunter. And you, right away, just take everything off of him, because he's a bad guy. Spoiler alert, if you couldn't tell, he's not a bad guy, but he just, he goes away from you, so... Alright, let's go into here, which... Companions... Boom. More gold and stuff. Alright, notice that it auto-pauses. That is uh, a default in the game. But you can also set it to that. You can do it turn by turn basis if you really want to. I just have it so that it pauses at the end of every turn. So another thing you can do, backspace selects all of you guys, or you could just click and drag. And this little guy down here stealths you. That'll give you your first attack at a flat-footed bonus. It's time to Let me t turn on my halo here. If I turn on my halo, I get plus two against blind and dazzle. Which doesn't make sense if you're trying to stealth, right? Oh well. Leave this one to me. I'm going to set her, Lindsay, to auto daze. So if you right click on a spell, it'll do that spell every single time until it runs out. And Daze is a zero level spell, so you can do it all day. So anybody that's four hit dice or less, it makes them do no action if they fail their will save, which is pretty awesome. She's not going to do any of this, so I'll get rid of that. And let's sing some music. And that gives us a bonus to our stuff. Boom. Oh, Tartuccio. Oh, they're messing him up bad. Look at these guys go. This was not 
Yes! I mean, it sucks, but... Yes! <laughs> this guy is, like, the greatest bowman of all time. Alright, that was crazy. Alright, so, if they don't die... You don't die in this game unless you go minus your con. So, his con is obviously not two, it's higher than that, so... He didn't die, die. Notice I'm not taking the armor, it's because it's heavy. And my guys aren't very strong, <laughs> so you can only carry so much weight before you slow down quite a bit. And armor like this is 25 pounds, it only sells for 3 gold, it's not worth it. You want to go at least one for one. Uh, I'm going to do the heavy mace just because someone might use that. Gold, dead body, gold, pathetic, couldn't even protect themselves. Ooh, food, more food, some fish. There are recipes and stuff you can cook when you camp, and based on what you cook, you can uh, get some pretty good bonuses. Let's quick save. F5 is quick save, by the way. Use it all the time. I will make this a drinking game if you really want to. Every time we save, we take a drink. If you're of age, of course. Ouch. She just crit that guy. Sorry, guy. Yeah, these guys are blocking out Tortuccio. Yeah, Miri, she's a she's a heavy hitter. She's a glass cannon. That means is her hit points. Nice. Anyway, what I was saying is she... Uh, these are all light. Um, she does a, sh a lot of damage. But her AC is pretty low, so she takes a lot of damage as well. There they are, the assassins. This is your last chance. Drop your weapons and we'll spare your lives. So generous. I'm afraid I can't offer you the same courtesy. Hey, you ugly mug, get them. What in the hell's name is that? He runs over his own guy and kills him. Oops. Is that like a cone of cold or something? Pretty sure that's like a third level spell. Which means you have to be a fifth level caster, so that's not good. Yeah, three to one, I don't want that. Of course, he crumbled everything here, so the passage is blocked. You can't make your way through. Open up the door. The heavy grate is securely locked. So, we gotta go over this, which takes a dex check. A trivial task. Yay, we made it! Uh, I think it was impossible to fail. Actually, I could have rolled a 1 and failed, so there you go. Oh, we got two guys here. I'm going to select everybody. I'm going to invisibilize us. Go after the bowman first. Beautiful. He dazed him. Can't do anything for a turn. And he shot in the face. Bam. Yeah, Daze is pretty helpful. Again, it's only 4th level or lower guys, but these guys are all level 1, so... Is that a regular bow? That's a short bow. Stupid. 
Ooh, an armory. Oh, the composite longbow. We finally got it. Oh, a masterwork light mace. That's worth some gold. Here, let's equip that composite longbow. Let me show you what it's like. So, you can see I have a plus six with only a d8 of damage. Get that out of here. If I equip the composite longbow, boom. D8 plus four, just like that. That is a beautiful sign. There's a key. Uh, sure, tower shield. That's worth double the money, even though it weighs a crap ton. I'll take it. That's worth more than one. I'll take it. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess for the guard's salaries, all things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. Yeah. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. No distractions. Finally, a voice of reason. <laughs> Do what you want. I don't care. It was just a suggestion. But there's a lot of money in that chest, and with all these bandits running around, it wouldn't be any better if they stole it. You know how much stuff we've already taken? Take 210 gold. I'm there. Encumbrance. Encumbrance is a big thing in this game, that's what I explained earlier. So if we look, let's just hit I real quick and go in. There's an individual encumbrance and then there's the party encumbrance. So individual is what your guy is wearing which I have light here he's, she's light, he's light as a team we're in medium right now we're almost to heavy so because we're in medium we move a little slower blah 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 oh familiar faces I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow it's me, Jaythor I don't recommend advancing down the hallway assuming you value your life of course there were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. She talks and funny. just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? That's a good question. I'll answer, but briefly, and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. Boom. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like, zombies or skeletons or... As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. A small army. Sounds like a lot, dude. All these pop-ups, holy cow. Alright, so these are traps. If you have trickery, like Lindsay does, you can um, disarm the trap. And doing so, you get experience. And there's some, like, really high level traps as you go along, and you get a crap ton of experience for disarming them. So, always have someone that can disarm traps. Yeah, why not? I'll take both. Found a scroll! Yay! So if you have a wizard or a magus, 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 you can have them learn off of the scroll, which is really useful. I forgot to change. Here, you come up here. Wouldn't that be scary? You turn around and there's an undead chick with a big ass scythe. <laughs> turn the corner. Oh, crap. 
All right, let's find the uh, secret treasure here. All right, we'll start with you in here. So there's a couple different doors that we're trying to unlock. There's one here in this painting, and there's one in that painting. So you have to get all the swords up to get one unlocked, and you have to get all the swords down to get the other unlocked. Bing, bang, boom. So we're going to open the top guy. This guy. I think this is it. And then this one. Okay. And then, to open the other one, you hit that one again. And I think it's the... Oh, no! No, don't hit that one. And then it's, I think, the this one. Shit. I don't remember. Let's try it. There it is. Awesome. So there you go. That was easy. Uh, now, sometimes there's an ooze in here, so just be careful. This chair turns into an ooze. Yep, there we go. Boom. Messed up everything. What was that? Potion to remove blindness, which is key. More trinkets and stuff that are worth some money. Again, they were all gung ho about not stealing that gold, and we just took a crap ton of stuff from her, <laughs> from her coffers here. So, whatever. They're not making a fuss now, are they? Lindsay, you bastard. What's that? Wanda magic missile. Very nice. Now that we got all that, we'll come back here. We'll hit save and we'll be done. Oh, here, let's open first. Let's save now because we're about to get into a little fight. Alright. Oh, let's go invisible. Our stealth. Your laws. Let's have you guys focus on this guy. Ouch. Oh. Look at you, it's Casey. Casey? Casey? Whatever. It's that chick. Oh my god, this guy is just amazing, huh? Oops, sorry. Not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. Psh, ooh, we got a world knowledge world check. You sound like a Kelshite. Of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. Okay. I like making new friends. I don't think we've met. I am Kaisi, one Kaisi. of the many here who seek a better fate, answering the call of Lady Jamandi. But unlike the others, I never drop my guard, day or night. It's why I'm still alive. Oh, okay. Alright, well, we gotta go. I don't know where you're headed, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there, if you wish. I'll join you wherever you want to go, young lady. She seems to be a little outgoing. Oh, we got the dwarf. Look at him over there. Oh my god, I'm so hurt! The first time we get to do a save. Well, not the first time. I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, oh lord of oblivion. This guy, he pisses me off. So, 
whenever you see these in chat or whenever it's a decision that you can make you can get pretty good experience for doing it so try to do it every time obviously I'm gonna be diplomatic a little bit so aren't you being a bit premature look at yourself you barely got a scratch Yeah. Uh, it uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my God. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Aram is at your service. Aram. Thank you, you emo dwarf. I don't understand why you're emo, but you heal people. Make sure you come into this little room here. This is the perception one. It's the first time we found a hidden item. But again, perception skill check. It's going to be used all the time to find hidden items. All the time. That was a DC one, so everyone will find that. But in here we get a masterwork longsword, which is worth 100 gold, so that's really nice. That's just locked. Heavy, great, securely locked, just like the last one. After you're done in there, we'll come back out here. That's where the guards will be. Let's resave because we got to make another check, I think. You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha, some of our guests mm -hmm. are right. Who are you? Yep, she's she's got yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh the other stuff isn't necessary. Right, Abadar, keep us safe, man. Yeah, the other dialogue was just explaining that somebody opened up the gate. Some bad guy opened up and let him in. Alright. And this is an illustration book, so these happen throughout, which are pretty fun. And so our adventure started early, earlier and much more tragic than we expected. The whole team who gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to but a handful of brave souls, led by Jasper Silverbow, and not at all by that scoundrel Tartuccio, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Obviously, this is Lindsay writing these. Jamandi Eldori was waiting for us, but we had to get to her. In order to get to her, we'd have to march through the fire, literally. As we approached the burning building, we drenched ourselves with buckets of water. Prudence is the key to victory. Before moving through the fire, we thoroughly wet our clothes and hair. After that, we... The reason I selected that one, it makes this next check easier. So after that, we covered our nose and mouth before we rushed inside. It's a good thing we hadn't wasted any time. After entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us slanted and crashed down with a terrible crackling sound, blocking the way back. While we may not have planned on going back, if we come in a little later, the flaming logs and red-hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we've left with only one way to go. Let's continue. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Jasper Silverbow led us stubbornly through the flames while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. We made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards. I chatted with a bit, in, oh, one of the guards I chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in the calm setting, I had been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flame, she looked like a celestial avenger. An armored deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from higher spheres to help us poor mortals. I think Lindsay's got a crush. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed by. They are wounded. Help pull them out. Tartuccio grumbled something about how Germandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, Jasper Silverbow of course, rushed to save the guards from the fire. Now, 
there is a trick to gaining more experience and it's this notice that I will be doing this check if you hit escape and go to options under uh, difficulty you'll see it says here only skill user receives skill check experience you're gonna check that save it and then we're gonna do it and we succeeded saving the poor fellow didn't take long together we lifted up carry them away from the fire only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and swipe the sweat from her face thank you that was truly noble of you she said and now let us rush to Lady Eldori's aid ensuring the guards were rescued that we'd rescued were relatively safe we made our way to the hall where the battle was already in full swing now you'll notice I gained 54 experience all the ones before that we did we only gained about nine experience so if you're gonna do that if you're gonna do um, a skill check by yourself you you want to make sure that you set that up if someone else is doing it make sure you set it back so that way you get party-wide experience instead alright uh, let's set up our guys real quick what are you wearing uh, chainmail okay let's go by here alright so we do have a masterwork sword anyone need that I don't think so what does she have masterwork bastard sword yeah you're good she's got the tower shield already so they're all good in the hood man everybody's everybody's ready to go oh wanda magic missile I'll put that on Lindsay scrolls trinkets okay let's do it so I'm gonna rearrange my battle order real quick I'm gonna have you go there let's have harem come up here perfect let's do it like that and if you go down here there's formations tab you can do generic ones or you can customize however you want so if I wanted Lindsay to be kinda of in the middle let's do you up here I guess we can do a diamond it's not a diamond what the hell am I talking about a triangle there you go cool and you can make them further apart if you want however you want to do it so now if I click you'll notice they are in that order alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spell buff because we're about to go into the big the big fight that's here I am gonna put fight defensively on her to raise her armor class alright so what I do for this whenever you go to spell buff you always want to pause it let me get rid of these things that I won't be using I'm not sure if I'll be using those but what is this acid splash good okay um, you want to pause and then singularly go by each one and click on what they're gonna do so I'm gonna cast divine favor on her I'm gonna cast bless with him uh, it is one minute I cast invisibility on myself anything is possible. she doesn't need to do anything yet and what does he have just mage arm or magic missile and burning hands okay so we'll unpause it you'll notice everyone cast spells boom everyone's pumped up and ready to go actually if I select everyone but my guy I can make them semi invisible anyway you notice that screen popped up that does that whenever you leave a spot whatever loot you didn't collect that you found it'll ask you all right this is the final fight here oh she's fighting him oh they got two on one over here I don't even know who that is but cool oh that was the mayor guy look at him going to town I like it alright we got about ten guys here we gotta kill which is exciting and there's that slut pardon my language sorry let's have everybody run in here 
I'm gonna have you focus on the assassin leader. Actually, you as well. Let's use magic missile again. I right clicked. Oops. So you can use that. You run in, you run in, you run in. I'm going to take hers off so she moves faster. Alright, now that he's in combat, I'm actually going to cast Bane, I think. I'll have him move a little. No, I'll have him attack. He'll move in later. Damn. Just cast him water now. Remember, we have precise shot. Or, um. Not precise shot, but the other one. First feet we got, you gotta be within 30 feet to do damage, so. Now you'll notice everyone's kind of. Oh, Miri's coming in town. Watch out. Notice everyone's kind of spreading out now, and I'm not selecting or telling anybody to do anything. That's just the AI. They kind of just do their own thing unless you direct them to, which is pretty cool. Should they're fighting a Hydra in here? And they crit for 41? Let's go. Thank you, Amiri, for helping out. I'll just collect all for now. I'm always ready. Jeez. I'm sure we're heavy now. That should be every ooh the frost giant. Alright, we're gonna save again because we're gonna be making some saves and I want all the experience I can get. So I will be going in and out if I don't get them all. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Andori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. <laughs> you think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this. That's the ring you gave us, you dick. Alright, uh, Tartucci was trying to set me up. He's the one who gave me the ring. Yes. Succeeded. Such a gambit would be typical of Irovetti and his henchmen. Well, the 17. And yet, it still seems suspicious. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. Mm -hmm. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? How could that? you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. Yeah, you're a liar. My words might be rash. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. Yeah. This purple crook on the other hand. He's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy. That's right. Lady Aldoris, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Mm -hmm. And not just that. Upon finding the guard's salaries in the armory, he immediately pocketed it all. What? Not the gold. Uh, lawful neutral or chaotic neutral, I'm lawful. So we weren't trying to take the money. We wanted to keep it away from the bandits. I need to roll a 12. Nailed it. That was more than reasonable. Rolled a 20. Wow. 
Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. That's right. Well, of course, that is not to be condoned. However, when the fire burns around you and you are but one step away from death, is it not insane to worry about laws and rules? What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Neutral good. People were dying right in front of me. How could I just walk by? So this right here gives you the choice between um, Lindsay or, or Jethel, the evil undead chick. So if you select this. How'd I fail that one? Are you serious? A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger That's for the it. sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen land. Sure. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join his team. Yes. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Please. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Sorry, Emo. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tortuccio. Ah, uh, Tortuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the tree. That's right. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Nevaktas Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You. We'll take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. And she gave us four camping supplies, or, and rations, and a signed scroll of Ray's Dead, which is very useful. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restaw is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats three you months. accomplish will be points. And now... Farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Beautifully said. Hoo! The music. 
Alright, so we failed one of them. I want to go back and check real quick. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. That's right. Map movement. Okay, so um, I'm going to show location names up here. We did go up a level here. Uh, let me do that real quick. Let me hit F5. What I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to go back real quick and see if I can uh, make those saves again and I'm just going to skip all the chatter. I actually changed locations. It took so long to get that damn three, <laughs> all three checks correct. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish off leveling up our guys, go to Oleg's and then we'll stop the first video there and we'll continue on uh, tomorrow with the rest of it. So. Let's level up my guy first. You just click on the little plus. Let's go Ranger again. Very simple. Uh, four skills. I'm going to do, again, these two normal. Let's add in Athletics. Just one rank because that gives us a plus nine just in case we have to do skill checks for that and get a little extra experience. And then... Let's add another knowledge. Let's do world. How about that? That gives us a little bit so we can at least try it, right? All right, we're going to go archery, and there it is, precise shot. So as you see here, you can shoot or throw a ranged weapons at an opponent engaged in melee without taking the standard minus four penalty on your attack roll. So we'll hit a lot better. So that's awesome. All right, so that was easy. Now, with Valerie, I'm actually gonna do something a little different, and because we're on uh, normal mode, I can kind of play around with it a little more and not uh, do like a, a meta, you know? So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do a Alchemist Vivisectionist with her. And it's a really good one to dip into, dip one level, and what that means is instead of doing like all 20 levels of fighter, we're dipping into another class. Reason why I dip it into this class one time, it has a uh, mutagen, which you can add, it first of all gives you plus two to natural armor, but you can add plus four to any of your attributes, your strength, your dex, and your con. Um, for 10 minutes per level and then you take a minus two on one mental ability score which I believe is wisdom and intelligence so it's amazing amazing um, the other thing is you get sneak attack so in this game you get sneak attack all the time as long as you have somebody in melee with somebody and you're shooting from ranged you get sneak attack so that's great throw every uh, throw anything plus one on attack rolls made with thrown splash weapons I guess for alchemist fire and stuff that's cool but that's what I'm going with with her gives us some extra skill points for taking that let's go oops um, definitely perception up two ranks she doesn't need athletics um, I'm gonna do use magic device once in case I want to use a wand on myself or something Wanda lead blades or something like that. Then they don't really use persuasion. So I'm going to do knowledge arcana. No, fudge. <laughs> I'll do world with her as well. Just to get an extra bonus. All right, we're going to take enlarged person for sure, which is really nice. It makes if you're a medium creature like all of us are it makes you large which gives you plus two to strength which means you do an extra plus one to hit uh, an extra 
time and half for damage if you're using two weapon, two-handed weapon. Um, it also does give you a minus two to dex, which gives you minus one to your AC, along with being large, you get a minus one to your AC. So all in all, you get a minus two to AC, but you get a um, a whole damage die higher. So if you hit with a D8, it's a D10. You get reach, so instead of five feet, you're 10 feet, and um, you do extra strength damage. So really good spell for melee people. And then I'll take, let's do, yeah, do true strike. So true strike gives you plus 20 on your next attack. Enough said. Beautiful. All right, done with that. So here's our, if you do plus two to con, you get minus two to charisma. If you do plus two to strength, you get minus two intelligence. And if you do plus, um, I'm sorry, these are all plus fours. Plus four to dex, you get minus two to wisdom. All right. I am keeping it simple and just leveling up as a bard again, because bards are good. Let's do, notice all the skill points she gets, it's really nice. Uh, I'm not going to do persuasion, so let's do perception, use magic device, trickery, always have high trickery as much as possible there, and don't need mobility. Let's do stealth. I might have to sneak, singularly sneak her in. We're going to take a uh, combat trick, and we're also going to take point blank shot because she's gonna start doing some good attacks and I need her to not take a minus four penalty so that's the beginning of it grease or hideous laughter or sleep oh man um I mean grease is so good I'm gonna go with Grease. Reason being it can affect a lot more people and it's there for a while. Or Hideous Laughter is just one person. So, yeah, let's go with Grease. Well versed. I get a plus four on saving throws made against Bardic, Performance, Sonic, and Language Dependent stuff. Cool. All right, this one, I'm going way off the way off the board so instead of going up in barbarian i'm going to go sacred huntsman under inquisitor so what that's going to do is a lot of things actually i'm going to get some spells which is cool but um first of all i get an animal companion awesome really good to have um excuse me it's late here but my class skills i get a lot more class skills and the spells that I'm going to get are going to be like True Strike and, and spells that actually affect just you, which is really good for her. So let's level that up real quick and I can show you. We're going to go with Gorum because that's who she is. Uh, and we're going to go with Strength. Reason being, look at the domain spells. Enlarge Person, Bull Strength, Magic Vestment, Enlarge Person Mass. So it's all stuff that would be perfect for her. There's only a couple maybe three that I would choose from. Dog is pretty good because it trips, but it only gets one attack. Leopard gets three attacks, and it has pounce, I believe. Um, so you can pretty much always do a full attack. But what I like, I think, the most, I'll go with the Smilodon. And that gets four claws and a bite, so it gets five attacks on a full round. Let's see, speed of 40... So it's a little less speed, same armor. So I'm gonna go with that. And again, here's the skills. So perception, nature, athletics. Let's go with, we have two more points. She is, it would be weird to give her that. And trickery, I don't think so. Let's go Knowledge World. If I gave her Arcana, that's like nothing she would ever know. Alright, so for these spells, let's go with... Um, 
True Strike. Oh, that would, oh that's not fair with her. And uh, Divine Favor. Divine Favor gives you a plus one to attack and damage rolls. Actually, that or we can do... No, let's do Divine Favor. Because we're going to get a ring that gives us three casts of Bless. So way off the way off the map right there. Uh, not many people probably have done that before, but I'm gonna go with that. So let's say. Oh, pardon me. Oh, that probably froze the camera right at the right time, which is funny. Uh, all of these are casters that don't need to memorize anything. So let's move on. There's someone on the road, get ready. It's not a random encounter at all. They say random encounter, but if it's a true random encounter, it'll have a, a fight or try to avoid button on it. So they want us to fight whatever the heck this is. Oh, grumpy pants over here, huh? Jasper is about to get just rushed, huh? This will hurt. Lindsay, let's keep dazing people. Right. Smile it on. Let's have some fun, baby. Let's charge. Can you charge here? No, I didn't think so. Charge. Have her charge here. And rage. Jasper messing people up. Who was that? Amiri? Boom. You don't stand a chance. Alright, Knowledge Nature comes into effect here. Whenever you fight creatures, you get to skin them. And wow, all three of them succeeded. I needed to roll a 10. And I rolled that three times in a row. Wow. I'll take it. So that's some money right there. Alright, and I'm hitting M to open up the map. It's a little easier to traverse when you have to go long distances. Mary's a fatigued, huh? Mary's a barbarian from the realm of the Mammoth Lord. She's a little crude and doesn't talk much about her past, but her heart's in the right place. I wouldn't want to have anyone else at my side in battle. We need to take like reading lessons or something. All right, let's continue on this solo road here to Oleg's place. So this will pop up when all of your guys are fatigued, not just when the first one is. So keep that in mind if you have someone that has like ring of sustenance or something where they can't get tired. I'm gonna keep going. There's Oleg's. Oh crap. We're encumbered, and two of them are... Uh, I'm going to rest out here. Okay, so you can hit R, and what that'll do is bring up this um, thing here. Sorry, my camera's in the way, but there's a Manage button here. And I'm going to take everyone off so you can see. If you scroll over your person, it tells you what they get pluses at, so I'm pretty good at hunting, plus six, a little good at watch. She's only good at watch order. I'll just throw you over there now. Uh, the best cooking, she has a plus seven. And she has a six at hunting as well. Here, let's do this instead. What's your cooking? A five? Let's do your five, camouflage two, and we'll do hunting six. You can click use rations, and that'll use your four rations. But you'll still hunt it just won't take up time. You, you just might get lucky and not use any rations. Right here you'll see a lot of recipes as you go throughout. You get a lot of recipes that do different things. You start with this one if you get a DC 20, which I'd need to roll a 15, which is pretty tough. I get it. All of our team will get a plus one on saving throws for a day, which is pretty cool. And it doesn't cost any ingredients. So there we go. We're ready. Let's begin resting. Nice. 
Only had to use two rations, camp successful, and of course we... <laughs> Amiri can't cook, okay. Alright, so we're all rested and ready to go. And that is where we'll leave off because there's going to be a nice big fight in Oleg. So, hope you guys enjoyed the initial inaugural... It's not inaugural. The initial... What is that word? Now you're not enjoying it, damn it. That's going to do it for this episode because once we go into Oleg's, it's going to be a pretty epic battle in there. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode. It is a little informational, so a little slower. Well, we won't have a lot of that going throughout. We just wanted to learn the characters and get to know them. It's more fun that way. You really get to build um, a relationship with them throughout the stages. So that is it. Please leave below a comment if there's anything you want to see. If there's anything I forgot or missed or you just have questions on, feel free to ask. I'll answer them right away, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Oh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the button, hit the bell, you know the drill. Alright guys, have a good night. Peace.